Now granted, one of the benefits of owning an electric vehicle is you don't need to pay for gas. You do, however, have to pay for the cost of electricity to keep your EV powered up. How much exactly is that? And how does it compare to the cost of gas? We'll be taking a look at our latest electric bill that covers the last 30 days and breaking it down to give you a perspective on the cost of ownership related to keeping my wife's Model 3 charged up and ready to go. We didn't necessarily buy our Tesla because it was an electric vehicle, although that was one of the advantages of owning a Tesla. This is a pretty fun car to drive. I explained more related to that in our 90 day review of our Model 3, and you can take a look at that if you're interested at the card I'm posting at the top of the screen here. Now, when we bought our Model 3, I wasn't really sure how much the cost of electricity was going to be to charge the vehicle at home. I estimated some things based on some research I was doing, and I knew the cost of electricity when compared to the price of gas was going to be cheaper but I wasn't really sure how much cheaper it was going to be. So I tracked our electric usage in detail over the last 30 days, and I broke that cost down to understand how much it cost to charge our Tesla over those 30 days. And I wanted to understand how that cost compares to the price of gas today. Here in Southeast Michigan, our energy provider is DTE. Now, when we first got our Tesla, we were on a standard rate plan, meaning we paid the same rate for electricity per kilowatt hour, regardless of the time of day or the season we were in. We were paying 19 cents per kilowatt hour, which included the capacity and delivery charges. Being we typically charge our Tesla at night, it seemed like it would probably make sense to find a off-peak rate plan. So a few months back, I switched over to a time of day plan that DTE offered. What this means is we pay an off-peak rate for any energy usage after 7 p.m. and before 11 a.m. And that off-peak rate also applies to weekends and holidays. The way that rate plan breaks down is as follows. We pay an on-peak capacity charge of 11.8 cents per kilowatt hour. There is an off-peak capacity charge of 1.1 cents per kilowatt hour. So that's the rate we pay after 7 p.m. and before 11 a.m. There's also a power supply non-capacity charge of 4.2 cents per kilowatt hour, a power supply cost recovery charge of 0.6 cents per kilowatt hour, and finally, a distribution charge of 6.6 cents per kilowatt hour. As long as I'm charging off peak, I'm paying 12.5 cents per kilowatt hour to charge my wife's Tesla. Having said all that, how much energy did we use last month to charge our Tesla? For the month of July, 2022, we used a total of 2,133 kilowatt hours. 377 of those kilowatt hours were on peak and 1,756 were off peak. Now that is our total energy consumption for the month. Now, since we charge our Tesla after 7 p.m., some portion of the 1,756 kilowatt hours, our off peak usage went towards charging the Tesla. Leveraging the Tesla app for the month of July, we used 346 kilowatt hours to charge our Model 3, which by the way was all home charging. So what did it cost us? So using our off-peak rate, we paid $3.81 for our capacity charge. So that's 1.1 cents times our 346 kilowatt hours, a total of $14.53 for our non-capacity charge. That's the 4.2 cents times the 346 kilowatt hours. Two dollars and eight cents went towards the power supply recovery charge and a total of twenty-two dollars and eighty-four cents for the distribution charge. That is the six point six cents times our three hundred and forty-six kilowatt hours. So that totals twelve and a half cents for our off-peak rate times our three hundred and forty-six kilowatt hours equals forty-three dollars and twenty-five cents to charge our Tesla Model 3 in the month of July. Now I do want to note this off-peak rate that we pay doesn't change. 
will pay this same 12 and a half cents 12 months a year as long as we're charging after 7 p.m. and before 11 a.m. and all day on weekends and holidays. While we're not using our Tesla as a daily commuter to and from work, we do drive it on a daily basis. While I didn't know the exact mileage we put on in the month of July, I've estimated it was at least 800 miles, roughly 200 miles a week. And that included a couple of longer day trips. The rough cost for operating our Tesla for the month was about 5.5 cents per mile. Now, if I compare that to a typical ICE vehicle, it is roughly the same size of a Model 3. Let's estimate that vehicle gets roughly 30 miles per gallon combined city highway driving. It cost me roughly $1.65 in energy usage to drive those 30 miles. Price of gas is sitting at roughly $4 a gallon here at the time of recording this video. I'd say it's a pretty good deal. So that's my energy bill for the month and the cost of charging our Model 3. Hopefully that gives you a little bit better perspective on what you may be able to expect if you're charging your vehicle at home. If you found the video helpful, a like or subscribe would be huge and we would really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next video.